this comes from the iliac fossa. That's this deep fossa here. I want you guys to feel that for yourselves, okay? Find that ASIS we found earlier with the obliques. And I want you to go past these obliques and I want you to gently dig your hand underneath that, just medial and deep and oh, right? For we who sit a lot, we might feel this be a little tender. For we who have intra abdominal pressure building problems, we may feel a little tender, right? Feel the other side, see if they're equal. Maybe, maybe not equal. This iliac fossa is pretty expanse. This muscle attaches to this area. Does psoas attach to this area? No. <laughs> Where does psoas attach? T12 all the way down to L4, the body's intervertebral disc, completely bypasses for the most part the pelvis to co-insert with the iliacus, and we'll talk about that in a second. But no, they do not come from the same place up top, right? Making them very different. Thank you, Ichen. <laughs> Thank you, Ichen. Yes, different. The iliacus also attaches to something the psoas doesn't. It attaches to this thing called the iliolumbar ligament. The quadrius lumborum also attaches to it. And so I did a makeshift one for you because Dr. Jake doesn't want to be dissected today. <laughs> and it usually goes from L4 and L5 transverse processes. And it's coming down and around to insert onto the iliac crest here. And so this particular ligament, although extremely difficult to palpate unless you got a scalpel. Yeah. This particular ligament has a massive attachment for the anterior layer of thoracolumbar fascia. Now, what do we know about this deep layer of thoracolumbar fascia? What did we learn today with that? My girl right here, attached to the internal abdominal oblique. The intrinsic muscles, as Dr. Anna described, that are exhalation muscles have to attach to that in order to be called intrinsic muscles. The only guys that get a pass are the diaphragm and pelvic floor because they're inhalation muscles. But the iliolumbar ligament is an attachment for iliacus and the anterior layer of thoracolumbar fascia. Does that make iliacus an intrinsic core muscle? No, because it itself doesn't attach to the anterior layer of thoracolumbar fascia. But man, does it attach to the ligament that does? Why do you think that's important? Yes, it's how intrinsics send things to the outside world, to the limb, to the lower extremity. Look at the size of Jake's lower extremity. It needs force, baby. 